Hello everybody, this is 4 doing my tutorials on the tournament. We're doing the next six for my last time. Uh, Cold Burns, Hell's Highway, Days of Thunder, Raider Rumble, Malcontent, and Armored and Dangerous. It is the Tournament of Legends. First, a quick rundown of my knight. Uh, power level 4,431 knight with just over 3,000 damage. Uh, the last event, I did manage to complete the entire... Uh, set of appearance items and also from the newest event I managed to nail three of the current uh, items so we're gonna go ahead and pop on in there first one is cold burns uh, of course we are doing this on gold difficulty okay now you guys remember, these guys are, are a still thing here like as you know um, you should always be using uh, your angelic form as you're going through these. Um, your angelic form only got s seven seconds, so you want to be leaving the area of their protection as going. Um, once your angelic form runs out, go ahead and uh, run around for a little bit, trying to avoid getting into those areas. Because as you can see, those guys knock you back into it. Make sure you use your your pots too as what as needed. Because you can see these these enemies, those those two enemies like to bring you back into to them when uh, they hit you. So you want to try to uh, stay out of the way. Um, whenever you see the little lovely uh, guy, go for him. I tried to take out Nox the Punisher uh, first because even even if with those other two guys um, they uh, his, his attacks are easier to avoid. Um, those other two are actually real hard. Um, Another another option is take out those other two first before you try to take out uh, the Punisher because uh, of their knockback that brings you back into him even from halfway across the screen. Um, part of the lag issues this game has. Well, let's go ahead and open up these uh, these ch te these chests. See what I get. I get six gems and three valor. Sweet. All right, we're gonna go right into the next one. The next one is Hell's Highway. Uh, this is Balor, and that's two um, and his two uh, uh, wizards nearby. And these guys are a lot easier to avoid everything. Um, Balor doesn't do much for major major attacking, uh, except for summon enemies. So he is one you want to take out first. You see that target coming on you? You need to move. Um, you see that big thing coming at you? I should have moved. Um, Everybody's just bringing me back. Now, if you have your angelic form when that big target comes in, you can go ahead and uh, use it. Uh, did you see where he said burn in hell's fl flames? That was Balor. Um, that is your cue to get out of the way. Also, here we go. We got the Laden Thief, so we're going to try to take him out try to stay away from attacks as we go. Alright, time to move out of the way there. Now this guy, his, his most of his attacks are fairly easy to avoid, so you just keep on in there, and um, he actually telegraphs every single one of his attacks, so you can easily avoid him. Alright, well that was Hell's Highway. Now, being at the power level I am at, I am making these look a lot easier than you would, than most uh, knights will find them. These are all still very beatable using the strategies I give you. You just got to make take your time. Um, my favorite strategy as a low-level knight was uh, rush in, angelic form, rush out. That you is still a strategy that you can use. Rush and use your angelic form and then run around in the circles until you your angelic form refills. Use protector to help you stay alive longer but don't go in until you use angelic form. That being said, a smart move is to save up a whole bunch of those two minute cooldown pots and bring them in with you to make uh, to make the recharge on angelic form go that much quicker. Alright, next we're going into Days of Thunder. And By the sounds of it you can probably guess that you're running into Thunder guys. Um, big key with this guy here, especially for low lower levels, is he's going to summon uh, enemies that uh, call in 
thunder thunder totems. You want to take them out. The other enemies aren't nearly as dangerous as these lightning conjurers here. Um, again, use uh, angelic form as needed. But, um, yeah, those lightning conjurers are the worst ones. Now, leave everybody else alone. Okay. Now you see... Now you see him. He has a small small target around him. When he's bringing in those sandstorms that come inside, come from the inside, um, that is the area of effect that it's going to hit. Uh, right, we got the lightning conjurers again, so we need to go take them out. The sands will consume it. Consume you his, when he says that. He's, he's calling up oral ones, but not ones that come in. He's calling, getting ready to call in a whole bunch that come out. Or just circle around. So you just want to stay clear. Now that uh, go away puny human is the ones that come in. Alright. Come back into him. I got my angelic form so I can take that one hit there. Alright, now we need to start uh, moving around. See, so he calls them in and does an area of effect attack around him. And we finished them off. Alright. Going on to the next round. And I'm having a little bit harder time of winning a lot of these attacks than I'm used to because again, as I said earlier, I do have a new gaming mouse and the sensitivity is amazing. I love it, but it is taking a lot of getting used to. So, so far, where are we at? Uh, let's see. More jabs. Alright. Alright. Now... That was Days of Thunder. Now we're going into Raider Rumble. This one is a little bit different as in there isn't a boss. You just have a a lot of basic enemies. Um, and you're not going to get away with not going into them right away. So, what you want to do is go ahead and pop on in there with your first group with your angelic form and take out as many as possible before it runs out. Now, as you see, I was able to take him out before they did so, but your results may vary. Um, don't go too much higher than this, otherwise you may accidentally bring in the second group. Now, once you clear out that group, using Protector, Angelic Form, and whatever pots you need to keep yourself alive, you come up here. Um, these three guys here, when they turn red and mad, they're getting ready to jump up and down on an area of effect attack. That's pretty dangerous. So what you want to do is stay clear of them. When you see one of them get angry like that, get out of the way. And as you can see, there we go again. My angelic form's refilled, so you can go in and fairly safely go in and take the rest of them out. Now, if you're just the power level, your angelic, you just the power level recommended for this gold events. Your pow your angelic form may not um, be enough to do it. So you want to keep yourself going. Um, hello, cookies. Uh, just realized that everything's popping up on the screen. I am making tutorials, so as you can see here, and all these guys here, you got your basic enemies here. Now here's a good, now that you've cleared out the majority of the map, go ahead and drag them down here where you've got some room to run. Um, use your hurl to keep everybody uh, in place and use your angelic form when you're able to do so to get in there and actually take them out. Um, you can see everybody telegraphs their things. The archer's got the um, the air, the uh, the targeting, the uh, the sorcerer's there has got the green green stuff. I'm um, getting ready to do so. And uh, cookies 190. Yes, I am making my video uh, as for my YouTube channel. So I that was the fourth of six um, uh, tournament of legend arenas is what I call them. All right. Uh, between each level, we are opening up the the log boxes to see what we get. Alright, diamonds. And divine essence, okay. Alright, back into the next one. 
The next one is malcontent. You're going to have um, a hard time. Again, uh, you're dealing with uh, Malvoth. Um, his attacks don't change from his normal area, but he does manage to summon in these towers. You don't want to sit there and let these towers take you. Oh, goody, they are. Those towers don't disappear. So you're going to have to keep moving. You see the, the lightning bolt targeting mechanism under you. That's time your, your cue to move. Those are what hurt you more than anything else. And you see Malkov's uh, jump up and down attacks too. Ah, uh, shoot. I got right in the middle there. Uh, shouldn't have. I got lucky because I had my rejuves. I saved my three minute... My rejuves there. Time to move. And as you can see, he just... Enemies just keep spawning in. You... Uh, so this is one where you really don't want to sit there and pay, uh, spend a lot of time unless you absolutely have to. Um, um, remember, you can use your hurl to um, do some attacking on pe enemies as you're running away, waiting for angelic form to refill while you get over there to try to take out General Malkov. Malvoth. Um, he is... He is really, he really put a hurting on me. Um, he telegraphs his attacks he, when he brings his foot up and comes ready, getting ready to stomp down. Uh, he brings in a, a lightning attack that just sits there and stays around him. So you're going to have to draw him out of that. Uh, he also d does something with his sword. It does a very similar, similar thing. You just don't want to be anywhere near him when he does when he do, when he uh, stops and holds up either his foot or his sword that is the time to move away from him as well as moving around whenever you see the uh, lightning bolt targeting mechanisms under you that one they make it a little tough to do the uh, run around and wait for your angelic form to refill so use your hurl to take out the smaller enemies as you're trying to uh, as you need to go <coughs> so alright we are going on to the next map Final map is Armored and Dangerous, and this is Grok. Um, Grok's been floating around for a while. Uh, hey, Pele, uh, this is uh, 4X. I am making my tutorials for YouTube on these event tutorials, so we're going in here. Um, you remember Grok, and he's going to be a little tough, but he does this very similar. Um, uh, you can. The nice thing about this level here is you can take out the towers, but they do respawn. So if you can't take him out quickly, don't don't bother and just go straight for him. Um, anyhow, you see the one tower. See, as you can see, there's more towers that just came in. And what the heck, really awesome. All right. So if you're going to go ahead and do the tower takeout, don't waste your time with it. Um because um, I believe there's only the two sets but you don't want to be sitting around too f long for it I just lost the crater and what you're going to end up doing is going around in circles here whenever you're angelic but if you're doing so and you're trying to take out the towers whenever your angelic form refills that is the time to come in and work on on, um, on bra use your hurl to work on the towers. Especially the ones that uh, have the area of effect attack around the middle of them. Remember, we use protect um, to help supplement your uh, damage protection while you're sitting here running around. Um, these enemies are going to be tough. Uh, as you can go. This one's taking a little bit longer than I normally would, but again, I'm trying to show you guys um, how to do it at a lower level than what I am. All right. Now, Grok also telegraphs his big attacks. Again, same deal. Uh, they stop for a second and do a movement. That is the time to start moving away from the attacks. The same as pretty much any other boss you run into. That stop and to move, or they have a speech bubble pop above their head. Um, they're getting ready to do something dangerous, and it's time to move out of the way and not stick nearby. Well, I did complete get some uh, tournament score out of that, so get some extra stuff. Let's see what I get. Since you guys stuck with me through six different event arenas. 
and I did horribly at a couple of them, but hopefully you've seen some things that you can help and use. Help you use uh, use later. Alrighty. Well, everybody, this is 4X. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to me on Twitch.tv, Twitter, YouTube, and I'm also available on Facebook, all at F-O-U-R-X-1-1-G-D. Again, that's I'm 4X, and that's F-O-U-R-X-1-1-G-D. Thank you.